Hi there and welcome, or indeed welcome back, to Lucy Kate Crochet. Today I'm just going to quickly show you my most recent make and it's this little Amigurumi alpaca. I hadn't planned any other toy designs to do for the rest of the year. I'd taken a little chunk of time off to try and focus a little bit on, on family stuff rather than crochet and work stuff. But after Christmas, I went into the hobby store that's local to here in the sales and got this absolutely enormous skein of yarn. Skein? Skein. Skein. I go with skein. I've got this an absolutely enormous ball of yarn, um, which is sort of this cream flecked one. It's uh, the Women's Institute brand of yarn if you're in the UK, and I think you can occasionally get them in the US as well. Um, I'll pop a link so you can see down below. Um, but I really wanted to do something with it and quite quickly and I was looking at it and thinking well, what does it look like and it reminded me of the yarn that I used for my sheep pattern recently and I thought well what's like a sheep? An alpaca and I have a real soft spot for alpacas they're not only like really cute long neck sheep um, and they're quite friendly too but obviously we get some of the nicest yarn from them um ironically this is an acrylic blend yarn and and not natural alpaca yarn although an alpaca from alpaca yarn that would be quite cool um but i'm super pleased with how this turned out and and it's already got some compliments from the people that i've shown it to which has been really lovely and um so the things that distinctively and definedly make it an alpaca are this long neck that's longer than you can see at the moment. Um, there'll be pictures alongside the pattern which I took as I went along. Um, it's quite a low, deep neck and the wool part of it uh, hides that join. But yes, what makes it distinctively an alpaca is this long neck, little bit of a snub nose, and I tried to accent the face by doing a trick that um, that someone mentioned under the comments of my Amigurumi Tips video. Uh, I think the name was Rhonda. Thank you so much for the tip. Where they tie the backs of the safety eyes together to draw them slightly further into the face. And I really like the look that it's given it. What I would do next time is I would draw them even closer together to give even more definition. But for my first attempt, I think I was slightly nervous to go to go too far with it. But I really love the impact that it's had, something I will totally be trying again. So thank you so much. Um, I've got these long ears as well that protrude above the fur and then these nice stocky legs. And I did a little trick with the legs uh, because I wanted this to stand upright and it, and it does. But when you're um, designing and creating something that is more sculptural, more upright, you have to think about the weight and this part is quite heavy. So I needed the head to be set ever so slightly back in order to counterbalance itself and have the center of gravity in the middle. So what I did, was I gave it this fairly upright neck, but I made the front legs just a round and a half longer than the back legs. And what this does is it means when it stands up, it tips the whole structure back ever so slightly, and it means that it stands up under its own weight really nicely. It's got this little upright tail as well. I assume that alpacas docked like sheep are, but, um, I'm not an alpaca expert but yes so it all comes together to give this really nice look and just like with my crochet sheep I made the world by single crocheting and that's single crochet US despite the UK accent by single crocheting into a number of chains and for this one I think I did this is not the first time that this has happened I should not film at dinner time for frogs Twiggy. Are we done? I think he's done. Interestingly, only the males make that noise. So there's two girls and one boy in there and the boy is very noisy, but you know, they're cute. Back to crochet. So that makes the alpaca sit upright and it's got this lovely wool. And with the wool, what I did was made chains in sets of four and I made and I made, um, I think, two sets of 71 um, chains, four 71 length chains, 
and two sets of 51 length chains. So you have the one on there because you skip the first stitch when you single crochet back into it. And what happens when you make that long line of single crochet into a chain is it curls back in on itself. And to make the fur look even more slightly separate from the rest of the toy, I used just a half millimeter smaller hook. And it really does actually that tiny difference in hook sizes, it makes a big difference. So this is my alpaca. I'm gonna be popping the pattern up online, hopefully today if I have time to do it. I have sketched it and written it out and, and I write down the patterns as I go. So that, that should hopefully be up nice and soon. And I'll pop the link below the video. So if you want to make your own tiny alpaca, you can. The other thing that you can do if you wanted to be a little bit different to mine, which I think would be quite cute, is to do the fur everywhere. So this is essentially an alpaca that has been recently shorn. Um, naturally, they would have woolly legs as well and full woolly neck. So it's a little bit of a poodle cut on an alpaca. But um, I thought that was cute, but I think fully woolly would also be really cute. And of course, you can switch out the yarn that you've used. You might even want to do it in an alpaca wool yarn. Um, just make sure if you switch the yarn to make sure that you also switch the size of the hook comparative to the weight of the yarn and that it will make your toy bigger or smaller depending on which direction you go. So if you swap down to DK double knit yarn, for example, and get a smaller hook, your toy will be smaller. Same if you go up to chunky or bulky weight yarn, you're going to get a bigger hook and therefore a bigger toy at the end of it as well. Anyway, I hope that's a useful little introduction to my newest friend. I'm quite pleased. I'd be really, um, I'd be really interested to hear what you think though. Let me know. Do you like this style of toy better? This more sort of classically amigurumi style toy like this one and the sheep? Or do you like the bigger, more sort of teddy bear style toys like the cows that I've done recently? I Genuinely, please do let me know. I'd, I'd really like to hear your feedback on that because I really like both of them, but for quite different reasons. Um, I think these are more popular with adults and the Teddy style ones are more popular with kids, but um, let me know. And I hope that you all have an absolutely fabulous new year, that it tops this year, however this year was for you. I know for most of us it's had its ups and downs and uh, yeah, happy new year, happy crocheting, and I'll see you on the other side. I'll be doing just fine if you get out of my mind. I've been colonized by slogan. This consumption's just another slogan. All in time, pretend that I'm fine. But I don't want to make myself useful If I'm only used to keep your boots full I don't know how to make myself taller